I teach a social ecological framework in one of the courses at Tulane, and um, it just seems to make a lot of sense to me in terms of looking at how we can address health problems and health behaviors, and that we, in the past, I think, have uh, focused a lot on changing individuals' behavior, mm -hmm. and what the framework allows us to do very visually and in a very comprehensive way is to look at other levels or ways to impact individual behavior, you know, recognizing that the individual lives with people, you mm -hmm. know, with family members and is impacted by them and with peers and friends and, you know, other social networks. So, you know, it kind of grows from just individual behavior and individual vari level variables to interpersonal variables to then working, you know, a little bit broader with the community. There are community level factors that impact an individual's ability to change behavior. You know, including um, you know just what's happening in the community norms and culture and things like that, mm -hmm. and then from an even broader perspective, more from a society level, that there are um, environmental factors that don't just include the physical environment in terms of you know if there's parks and and you know great physical environments in which a behavior. Um, which is conducive to behavior or a positive behavior, but mm -hmm. also political and policy environments and structures and things like that. So um, laws, you know, those kind of things. So, I mean, it just makes so much sense to me that if you really want an individual to stop smoking or if you want an individual to exercise more, that you have to consider all those levels. I think it's very useful because it does give you a more comprehensive picture of a particular behavior than what was viewed in the past. You know, we, we looked at immediate risk factors and that was it. And I think it gives you a contextual picture of things that can happen that can affect behavior, whether it's close to the individual or not. You can think about changing a behavior with, without thinking about the context. A behavior don't happen in a vacuum. One of the problems in the United States is uh, people aren't eating enough fruit and vegetable. Believe me, people who have money do eat their fruits and vegetables. But when you have to pay uh, $3 for five apples, well, um, a lot of families cannot afford that, especially if you have three or four kids. Mm -hmm. So this is environment. This is the context in which the behavior happened. So unless we can change the context, it's very, it would be very difficult to change the behavior. If you're really going to get somewhere, you have to see if you can get an action plan that actually covers all the areas of the social ecology framework. I think if you try to solve the epidemic of obesity, focusing on only one level, I think you're missing the boat. Mm -hmm. You're saying, okay, it's only the person's uh, individual responsibility and their individual behavior that actually leads to them having obesity. I think you're missing the boat. Personally, for me, there is not that many other models that is so transformational mm -hmm. for the way we are thinking than the social ecology framework. Well, I think that pretty much any topic that you approach in maternal and child health can be framed in terms of the social ecological mm -hmm. framework. I think that one of the challenges of the social ecological framework is that it lays out for us how complex determinants of health and well-being are mm -hmm. and when it comes to research it's very difficult to really capture that complexity in any single study uh, so even though in one study or one project you may focus on one or two levels you always have to be mindful of the fact that there's so many other things that are playing in and interacting with those levels that you're examining or intervening upon Maternal and child health as a subject area, in its name, it even implies ecological systems thinking because 
you're starting with mother and child. That's a system. And mm-hmm. they, both in, they both influence one another in terms of their well-being. Uh, but as maternal and child health has grown at, as a field since the early 20th century, we've definitely incorporated other, uh, shall we say, actors into the study of maternal and child health, in particular fathers and how fathers affect the health and well-being of mothers and children. It's uh, give you the big picture, and it's uh, it's, uh, it's an overview of uh, it's, uh, what what's needed uh, in respect to the uh, from the intrapersonal, interpersonal, the organizational, the, this uh, all this up all the way to policy part. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, important to get the uh, uh, feeling when you want to make a change. Change uh, uh, can be made. Uh, not just on the individual level, but uh, everything can affect the change from the family influences, change from the, uh, the organizational influences, change can come from the uh, community level that uh, address to in- affect the individual, and change can also that uh, come in from the uh, even the societal or policy that can make the change. So it's all connected. It is not mm-hmm. just at one level. And that uh, anyone want to do the planning, although it's uh, almost impossible to change at all level, uh, one. But anyone that's uh, any planner want to really uh, want to make a change, have to address all level. But uh, thinking big, but the uh, uh, planning specific. You cannot implement a successful intervention if you don't look at all the risk factors and mm. the protective factors at all the level, at each level of the socio-ecological model. I think it's, um, it's key to a successful program. I think the students need to live and breathe and understand the social ecology framework. I don't think the social ecology framework is something that can only be taught in one class and then say, oh, we, we know that. Because I think if you don't really grasp the uh, vision of this model, you will be so frustrated in your work. I believe that students need to get this model in nearly all their classes. Mm-hmm. So that they really, they really understand how they always need to think related to the model.